Right, it is time to combine wacky racing with treasure hunting and orienteering to create a game that is so much fun and fairly energetic too. If the reaction at my 11 year old's birthday party is anything to go by, <laughs> this is a dead set winner. Now you are going to need maps, targets, a timekeeper and a whole bunch of runners. And the planning for this thing, well it starts at your computer. In maps, zoom in on a park near you. You want to have plenty of space for the game, but be close enough so you can see lots of detail. Take a screenshot, open it and annotate. Start with a boundary line in a colour that's easily identified. This is going to tell your players where they can and can't go. A new line in a different colour will make all the paths and routes towards your targets easy to follow for the runners. Then add some shapes. Stars are good. Add a fun colour to them and place them around the map in the locations of your targets. The application I'm using to work on the screenshot is Preview. It's lots of fun and easy to use. I found that increasing the exposure, saturation and contrast gives me a map where all the landmarks are pretty easy to see. Then use a text box to score each target. I gave low scores to the targets near home base and then higher scores to the targets that are harder to find or further away. So the teams can decide what course to take. They run their course by the parents that are attending the party so that everyone knows where everyone is going to be at any particular time across the course of the 40 minute race. You want to go around the course and attach all the targets to the various locations as marked on the map the morning of the chase. Little panhead screws are great for attaching the targets to trees, fences or whatever you are attaching to. Just make sure you keep the targets away from roads, that's just a safety thing, and make them visible. The boys will sprint to these things from long distances away as soon as they sight them. Now if one person does this you can work out roughly how long the course is going to take. I walked it this morning with a baby in one of these and had to stop twice to find the old bottle. That was a mission. But I did it in an hour and 40 minutes. Yeah. Your time starts in, now. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. I gave the boys 40 minutes to run the course, find the targets, get in close, take a selfie. All team members must be in each selfie or else you lose points. I sort of want them not to get all the targets. That way one team is going to get more than maybe another. It's just breeding competition, really. I love it. At the end of the 40 minutes, everyone comes back to the house. If you've got a team member missing, well you lose points for as long as he's missing. It keeps the boys together, helps them work as a team and really makes it a lot of fun. We took the long way, it went down to the we we used Because the boys have a phone on hand to take their selfies at every target, well they've got a mode of contact straight back to base should they ever need it. You can put parents out on the course at various places just to keep an eye on things. But it really is a safe exercise and builds teamwork in young people and gets them running around the block, which I think is a fantastic idea. Get amongst it. Those guys have got two minutes and five seconds. They're going to be late. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, Christ! Then just add up the scores for the targets reached. All the photos will let you know exactly what they did. Did a photo of that? Yeah, we did. And didn't get to. If you like home orienteering, give it a big thumbs up and use it at your next party. Have fun. So first was team three, second team two, third team one. Yeah!